the supervolcano of Mount Tehama, the Brokaw Mountain and Lassen Peak Volcano of California. This area is just south of Mount Shasta, Northern California, and it's an area very close to another supervolcano of California. Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano is just south of this area. Now the Tehema Brokaw Supervolcano, the site is the Lassen Volcanic National Park located at the southern end of the active Cascade Mountains. They stretch some 1,100 kilometers from southern British Columbia to northern California. About 600,000 years ago during the Pleistocene, the 3,350-meter-tall 3, Mount Tehama, also known as Brokaw Volcano, 12 kilometers in diameter, the supervolcano was the size of present-day Mount Hood in Oregon and must have dominated the whole landscape. As volcanic activity ceased about 400,000 years ago, glaciation began to wear down the supervolcano. Mount Tehema is now more or less gone. Its remnant caldera has sulfur works and the several large mountains seen once forming the sides of the supervolcano. Bumpass Hell, Lassen Volcanic National Park, Mineral California. Mount Tehama, eroded andesitic stratovolcano in the Cascade Volcanic Arc in the range of Northern California. The highest remaining remnant, Brokaw Mountain, is itself the second highest peak in Lassen Volcanic National Park and connects to the park's highest point, Lassen Peak. Lassen Peak is one of the high threat volcanoes, as we know, commonly referred to as Mount Lassen the southernmost active volcano in Cascade Range of the Western United States, located in the Shasta Cascade region. Shasta is just north of Lassen Peak, part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, stretching from southwest British Columbia, as we said. Now located on the border of Tehama County and Shasta County, Brokoff's Peak is the highest point in the former. Hikers that summit this mountain each year are treated to exceptional views of Lassen Peak and Central Valley of California and many of the park's other features. Mount Shasta can also be seen in the distance. Brokaw Volcano was active from 590,000 to 387,000 years ago, a period when it erupted numerous flows with compositions ranging from basaltic andesite to dacite. At its peak, Brokaw Mountain reached an estimated 11,000 feet, 3,250 meters, 11,000 feet, and had the basal circumference of approximately 12 kilometers. At approximately three, uh, 313,000 years ago, volcanism began shifting to the northeast of Brokaw volcano, with volcanism currently focused around the modern Lassen Peak. Following the end of volcanism at Brokaw, Cooling magma beneath the surface continued to drive hot, actively reactive hydrothermal fluids circulating near the central vent of the volcano. And these fluids chemically weathered the volcanic rock near the central vent, making them susceptible to physical erosions. Glaciers and streams were able to rapidly erode the hydrothermally altered rocks near the center vent, creating the deep mill canyon exposing deep into the core of the ancient volcano. Many of the lava flows along the flanks of Brokaw Volcano were not as extensively chemically weathered, resulting in the flanks of much of the volcano being preserved. Remnants of the flanks of Brokaw Volcano include Brokaw Mountain, Mount Conrad, Pilot Pinnacle, Mount Diller, and Diamond Peak. The history the area near Lassen Peak became a haven for new settlers around 1800s. Wagon trains following winding, winding trails and, uh, and on the Noble Emigrant Trail cutting through Lassen Peak near Sacramento Valley. 
one of the long landmarks along the volcano, called Lassen Peak after Peter Lassen. Prominent blacksmith guided, escorted California settlers. The volcanic, uh, the volcano and the area around it were given merit for their gripping volcanic phenomena. Now, geography and geology. The state of California, located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, as we know, area of highly active tectonic activity, including seismicity and volcanism, Brokoff and the other volcanoes near Lassen Peak were produced by subduction of the ocean at Juan de Fuca Plate under the North American Plate. Brokoff volcano represents the Pleistocene component of the Lassen volcanic complex, an area of active volcanism for more than 3 million years. It formed during a period of eruptive activity about 600,000 years ago on a series of faults. The largest of the three eruptions was about 50 times as powerful as the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. I'm reading this by, uh, from Wikipedia, by the way, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. The eruption of overlapping and acidic lava flows accumulated to build the volcano, and by the time it reached its peak size, the volcano was immense, measuring at its base about 11 miles, that's 18 kilometers, and 15 miles, 24 kilometers wide, more than 11,000 feet tall, that's 3,253 meters. Activity at Brokoff lasted about 200,000 years. Eruptions varied from rejection of pyroclastic materials to andesitic lava flows built of primarily of feldspar, pyroxene, and olivine. Soon after the formation of Brokoff, other smaller volcanoes began to form. Shield volcanoes like Raker Peak, Red Mountain, Prospect Peak, and Mount Harkness appeared. And at this point, the Pleistocene was coming to an end. One additional and final vent formed on the northeast flank of the volcano, erupting glassy, dacitic flows, and over time the volcano became dilapidated from extensive erosion and hydrothermal alteration. Later activity, activity built more than 30 other cones, known as the Lesser Domes. Today the most active volcano in the area is Lassen Peak. Other smaller craters, younger than 50,000 years, are also active. Brokoff's remains are exposed to the southern Mount Lassen and Shasta County, California, Sulphur Works, an area known for its sharp, putrid scent, is thought to be the center of the ancient Mount Tehama volcano. The central vent of Brokaw volcano was located near the modern Diamond Peak. After volcanism at Brokaw ended, magnetism became more a silicic and began migrating towards Lassen Peak's northern flank. The last 400,000 years have seen at least three known flows, parts of which are still on Raker Peak and Mount Conrad. A subsequent explosive eruption ejected 12 cubic miles, that's 50 square kilometers of material, and created a larger crater which was soon covered by lava. Twelve lava domes were built throughout the area, and the next period of eruptive activity began, spanning 50,000 years that ejected three and a half cubic miles, that's 15 cubic kilometers, to six cubic miles, 25 cubic kilometers of material, and was followed by a third period. At least 12 periods of activity have taken place since Brokoff formed, consisting of activity including pyroclastic flows, pasty lavas, and additional lava domes. Among the vents built by this activity include Lassen Peak, Mount Tehama today, activity at Lassen Volcano Complex is not over, far from it. There are several areas of hot springs and fumaroles of which the sulfur work, works, the, uh, the smelly work, the smelly as we said, and the hot mud springs at Bumpass Hill on the Lassen Trail are the most well known. Major eruptive activities during the Holocene the area around Mount Lassen, which more accurately ought to be referred to as Mount Tehama, and the nearby Mount Shasta are considered to be the most likely volcanoes in the Cascade Range to erupt during 
coming decades and centuries. Should they erupt in our lifetimes, it's not inconceivable that we might see a repeat of what of the rapid growth of Mount Shasta, Lassen Peak, or the Chow's Crags. Now, on, according to Volcano Discovery, Lassen Peak is uh, 10,462 feet tall, that's 3,189 meters. Current status is normal or dormant. It's green code, and uh, it has had some recent earthquakes. August 14th, 0 0.8 magnitude at uh, 7 kilometers depth. August 10th, 1.9 magnitude, 1 kilometer depth. July 30th, 0 0.6 magnitude, 4.9 kilometers depth. And as we said, Lassen Volcano or Lassen Peak, Northern California, at the southern end of the Cascade Range. Besides Mount St. Helens, it's the only volcano in the contiguous United States that erupted in the 20th century. Lassen Summit Complex is a lava dome that rises 2,000 feet above the surrounding terrain and has a volume of half a cubic mile, making it one of the largest lava domes on Earth. Its summit is a complex area of several craters. Lassen Peak is the largest and youngest of a group of more than 30 volcanoes that have erupted in the Lassen Peak area over the past 300,000 years. We're talking about, of course, Mount Tehama Supervolcano Complex. I'll leave links below for you for this. And I thank one of my uh, viewers for pointing this out to me. He asked me to, uh, this is uh, Eric Cliff, thank you Eric, he uh, asked me to do some research on Mount Lassen and what's left of a supervolcano that no one talks about called Mount Tehama. Very interesting. Thank you Eric for your heads up and if you have any more ideas what else we can research for the benefit of everyone who wants to learn what our beautiful country has to offer, uh, please do so. I enjoy that. Thank you very much Eric. I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.